Mm. Mummy's Little Soldier is a Casey Watson book that was released in 2016. This is one of the books that take place in the school where she runs the unit for children who need time away from mainstream lessons. As I mentioned before, I do prefer her foster care memoirs to the books that are set in the classroom. But this one I did think was quite interesting and definitely unpredictable. I've read this before, but I couldn't remember much, to be perfectly honest. I couldn't remember that much about it. So rereading it a second time, I couldn't remember what the big reveals were or what the kind of twists and turns were. And I found it to be as compelling as I remember it being the first time. This focuses on, well, there are various different pupils in the unit this time, all with very different backgrounds. There's a child with autism. There's a child, um, a girl called Cody, who's still being assessed, who has some very interesting behaviours and almost Tourette's, potentially. Um, there's a girl called Rhea, who I feel doesn't necessarily need to be there, but at the same time, she provided an interesting perspective. And there's a little boy whose mother has never given him a proper Christmas, and what happens with that was shocking. I was very furious with the outcome of the main part of his story. I won't give any spoilers to that, but you'll know exactly what I mean when you read it. And ultimately, the other main character, if you like, is a 13-year-old boy called Leo. And Leo's main problem, he has some anger issues, but his main problem is that he never turns up to school on time after lunch. He usually goes home for lunch every single day and he returns back late and they can't work out why like how can your timekeeping be so bad that you're late getting back every single day and Casey uh, and various other characters are determined to get to the bottom of this and honestly the pacing is brilliant they withhold enough information to not reveal the truth until relatively near the end at which point it actually becomes very emotional and moving and also inspiring and eye-opening but I won't see any more than that. Up until that point things seem to get progressively worse for Leo, it's certainly very fascinating to read and I really liked him as a character. I wanted the best for him, I think he has his head on, a good head on his shoulders but he's just a little bit confused about certain things and not sure how to act for the best. It's a good read, I liked it, it is slow to begin with, it's very, very slow to begin with. Not a lot happens for a very long time. I say a very long time, maybe, I don't know, the first 15, 20% of the book I just felt was very slow. But once it gets going and the characters are established, I say characters because these are based on real events, but there are obviously changes made to hide the identities of the individuals. Um, once it's established and we kind of know what we're dealing with, it becomes much more interesting. I do recommend it if you've never read it but you're a fan of Casey Watson. If you've never read any of Casey Watson books, I would suggest going chronologically. You don't have to, particularly because her books kind of dip in and out between her foster care memoirs and then several years later with um, the unit and the children she spends time with at school. So you don't have to read them chronologically but I I'm personally enjoying it that way. Either way, if Mummy's Little Soldier appeals to you, it's definitely one that I recommend.